Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday. Happy Rewards Day on uh, with your weekly rewards if you do have them. We're going to talk about that stuff a little bit today, but I also want to mention and just kind of speculate for this upcoming weekend. What is going to be happening this weekend on foot? Basically Friday, after Rewards Day today, what's going to be happening on Friday for foot? Of course, we have a lot of things kind of blowing around in the wind possibly winter upgrades, possibly winter ones to watch, and also prime icon moments. So we're going to take a look at some stuff that happened last year, also take a look at some stuff that's already in the game, and talk about what I think is going to be coming this weekend on the game. Now, first things first, we do like to compare to last year a lot of times and look at what happened last year because EA uh, likes to follow that same pattern that they did last year. So about a year ago, this was actually on February 15th of 2019. So basically this weekend, one year ago, we had Prime Icon Moments, the batch number one, and the first, uh, and this, the only batch of Winter Ones to Watch came out that week. So, of course here, we can look inside, if you guys remember last year's um, Prime Icon Moments squad, this is the squad right here, they had it broken up, both squads were in packs, uh, or they, they were in packs the rest of the year, but this squad came out like a week or two before uh, the other moments set did. So 215 and then 222. So basically, these all these cards came into packs in separate weeks. I think this year that this is going to happen again. I think they're going to run once to watch winter and prime icon moments on the same weekend. And why would they do that? What does that do? Well, they know that they can't just run moments as a promo by itself because if they just ran moments by itself, then everybody else in the game, like the whole entire, what is it, like 95% of the game that cannot afford any prime icon moments uh, will just be like, what the heck is this? It literally makes no sense in the game for me to have prime moment icons right now when I can't afford any of them. So that's why they run the winter OTW promo at the same time. Now, just a little bit ago, there was a squad update when I loaded into the game of foot you can actually see the ratings and the dynamic images of these new cards Ian Rush 92 rated um you know we you can look around at Hullet Hullet is 94 rated right there was uh what's Prime Ronaldinho going to be Prime Ronaldinho is going to be a 95 rated center, center attack in mid it looks like do any of these have like big time ratings boost George Best is 94 Baresi 94 Baggio 94 Burkamp's a 93, which are going to 93. Raul, look at all these, man. Look at all these. They're adding all these in. That's not that's not prime moments, Bressi. That's just regular. Maradona, 98. Ronaldo, 97. So all these guys are added into the game now. Um, Yashin, Lo Lothar. Who else? Lineker. Nice, nice, man. So all these cards are being added to the game at the moment. You can see their ratings and you can see um, their dynamic images inside of the game so that's kind of cool right this makes me think this is for sure coming this weekend and what this also means is that with prime moments coming out into packs is that we're going to have um the middle the middle icons going out of packs so again we talked about it earlier this week about guys like viera like what's going to happen to a card like this like, not this one exactly the middle version um but according to ea's pitch notes they released at the beginning of the year in foot um, we are going to be, where's the timeline? The timeline's probably above here. I went past it already. Uh, it's probably right here. It's not loading for some reason, but the timeline of these cards is, um, the middles right here. It is. So we are in the middle of February. Mid icons are no longer going to be in packs and moments will be in packs. So how last year we had one set of moments and then the next week, the next, the next set, that's not going to how it's, that's not how it's going to be this year. All of them are going to be in packs at one time, and they're going to be in packs for the rest of this year. So, some big time icon movements coming this weekend with these with these cards. Now, I think that you're going to start to see some panic selling for these icons because um, right now you were just we're just now able to search some of those prime icon moments in the game. Uh, so, like you can actually go in and, and search again, like we were just doing. You can go in Ian Wright, uh, 90 rated Ian Wright, right there. Who else? Let's search a T. Carlos Alberto, 94. Thierry Henry, 94. So you can actually search these guys in the game now. I think that'll cause a little bit of panic right now, according to, to uh, Footbin. We have not had a lot of panic yet. The market is down a little bit, yes. But I think we'll start... You, you might see some cards hold their price tomorrow. The baby icons might not drop as much. 
but I do think you'll see some down tick, especially on this index icon on Footbin. You'll probably see that tick down a little bit because people are panic selling uh, and getting ready for the new icons coming this weekend. So again, icon moments is all but confirmed coming this weekend on foot. The other half of that promotion coming this weekend, which I think is going to be winter ones to watch. And this is a little bit of a graphic put together by Matt Foot Trading. Um, make sure you check him out on Twitter. Absolutely awesome dude in the FIFA trading community. But this is something uh, with what winter wants to watch could look like. And this is looking a lot better than we originally thought. At the end of the transfer window, we had some moves go through. Bruno Fernandez, Erickson, Zlatan, um, Holland, Bergwin. Those are all like the headliners. This isn't terrible. We've had worse winter OTWs than this, in my opinion. So there have been worse ones. Uh, Emery Chan's not terrible. Florenzi, okay. Odriozola, nice. Can he get a couple informs, please? You know, this isn't a terrible, terrible squad, so we'll probably see some content with this. Minamino is kind of kind of nice for you Liverpool fans. Um, it'll be kind of interesting to see what happens with these ones to watch winter cards, but this is, again, just a prediction on some of those that could be coming out. So, again, icon moments, winter ones to watch. And what does what winter ones to watch bring as a part of the game, right? If you guys remember this team from last year, uh, winter ones to watch, we always have those ones to watch uh, guaranteed OTW SBCs. You can either do like a winter guaranteed OTW or the summer guaranteed OTW. So if you think back to, to FIFA this year, we'll talk about this team of the week in a second, but if you think about FIFA 20, go all the way down to ones to watch. These cards uh, might be coming not back into the game like into packs, but these cards might be um, available to be packed through a guaranteed once to watch SBC. So I would be very careful with these cards. They could drop a bit in price, not a ton, but there could be a little bit of a drop on these cards because they are going to be back in the upgrade packs, the guaranteed OTW SBC. A lot of people have actually been asking me how to, to how to invest for that. The cheapest ones to watch you can buy right now looks like to be Lozano at 17 K. If you can find any of these guys pretty cheap, honestly, like 15,000 coins, or lower, then I would say that's an okay pickup in my opinion. Um, but you know they've re they've required what they do with those SBCs is they make it 83 rated in like one team of the week card or 83 and one ones to watch for the tradable version. And I think in any ones to watch card, you turn in an 83 rated squad for it. So that's kind of how they do that guaranteed OTW SBC. I did a ton of them last year trying to hit Ronaldo. I packed Cancelo so many times. I've learned my lesson. I will not be doing as many this year. But if you're going to do, I mean, we're going to be looking at, we've looked at this prediction and kind of compare it to how does this squad look to the summer OTW squad. The summer one's always better, right? And of course, these cards have been playing longer. Some of them have informs. So, you know, if there's a guaranteed once to watch summer upgrade, uh, that would be something I would get interested in because Coutinho, Lukaku, Griezmann, De Jong, Hazard, Delict, like all, we, all these guys have gotten a lot of informs. Ben Yedder on the bench, for goodness. Like you could get a lot of really solid cards. Once to watch was a solid promo at the beginning of FIFA 20. If that SBC does come out, I think you will see some market movements because of that. And then speaking of uh, what I just mentioned earlier is the team of the week. Team of the week 22 came out today and they absolutely stacked this team of the week, which has a lot of people thinking about the possibility of a guaranteed team of the week SBC coming out this week. So I think that would make sense to me because at this point in the game, as we've looked at a lot of market indexes, you can tell, if we look at the daily graph, obviously team of the year was a really, really low time for the icons. They've rebounded back up to almost 70 points. We're now back down at 65. And I think this is going to keep trickling down. If you look at the rest of the market as well, let's go index special and show you guys this as well uh, on the daily graph. We are still kind of in a post team of the year bubble. Look at this special daily graph index special. We were down at 85 points during team of the year. We're back up to 103, just under 100 right now. I think this has some area to drop with other special cards losing their value on the game, right? Because there's still a lot of people have coins on this game. So I think a team of the week SBC is very likely, especially some of the cards that got in team of the week today, Ben Yedder and Mbappe and De Jong. I mean, yes, they had inform kind of worthy performances, but most weeks they wouldn't get in this week. They did. So that makes me think EA is just trying to sell packs again this weekend with this team of the week being in packs. So I would, I would expect a team of the week SBC on Monday or Tuesday of next week. 
Can you prepare for that? A lot of people already have. 83s are not going to be a bad shout to club stock. Um, like this morning during uh, weekend league rewards, if you can get on the bids for the 83s or the snipes, this is going to be a supply time for a lot of these cards, or maybe even on Friday and Saturday as well, because we shouldn't get a team of the week SBC before then. That could be a time to pick up on some of these 83s. They're already up a little bit in price, especially your ones that are good links and good nations. Um, Illa Remendi, Benega, those are some of the guys that go up a lot for, for SBCs. As you can tell, he goes from like 1,000 coins up to 3K. He hit 3K again. You know, he just kind of been chilling around the 1.4 to 1.5 range. Um, but he's up a little bit today. You can see he was like 1.6, you know, and then boom, the stuff came out and he went up to 2K. If you can get any of these guys under 1.5K, I am fine with that. 83s, again, stick to good leagues, good nations, and good links. Stuck, stick them in the club, stash them away. And if you want to go unassigned, partake at your own risk, of course, there's no guaranteed SBCs. 84s as well aren't a bad shout. Try to get them on bid. Club stock time, boys. If any of these cards drop any lower this weekend, if we don't get any more SBCs, it will be club stock time again. I still have the club stock active for what I thought was going to be mid icon SBC time. Shoot. That could come with this promo as well. We could have a mid-icon SBC as a part of all this, and it could just be a bunch of SBCs coming this next week for people to dump their coins into post, um, post team of the year and post headliners and post future stars. So that's one thing I'll be on the lookout after rewards today and after you know lightning rounds on Friday and Saturday. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in my video tomorrow before the promo starts if we get any more info. But that's something to watch out for. Again, I wanted to specialize and talk about the 83s because there's a lot of people thinking that this team of the week is going to bring about a team of the week SBC. So back to foot for a moment. Um, it is Thursday. Actually, actually, one last thing, one last thing. I forgot to talk about this. Before we talk about market stuff from today on Thursday or rewards stuff, um, the possibility for winter upgrades as well. Somebody like Ben Yedder, right? Could they lump winter upgrades into all of this stuff? That would be pretty crazy if they did. That would be a big time full day of content. But I guess I, th I think it's possible if they really wanted to do so, they could. I really don't see it coming though because I just think they're going to replicate what they did last year with this OTW promo um, with ones to watch and with um, icon moments being the stuff that goes into packs and the stuff that is new, the content for uh, the second week of February. I think that's what they're going to do. But of course, winter upgrades is a possibility. So you, this guy being Ben Yedder 83, he's supposed to get upgraded to an 84. And a few guys have winter upgrade cards. I think if the, some of them are inflated already a lot, like, like especially this Firmino or Werner, right? A lot of these cards people have bought up into. How much is the team of the year nominee Firmino right now? Team of the year nominee Firmino is 140,000 coins. Wow, he was under he was like 90k before all of this like five star weak foot and an upgrade stuff started happening. So this guy's 139k. He did get the skill moves update, um, but for some of the stuff that you guys bought for winter upgrades, like right, like a Ricardo Pereira. Yes, if this doesn't come on Friday, I still think you might see a little bit of a panic sell on some of these cards. How much is Ricardo Pereira's second inform? The 86, the 86 rated inform. How much is that one? 160K. And this guy was 100,000 coins during lightning rounds. So he's up 60K. Yes, Ricardo Pereira was like 105, 100,000 coins on snipe during the lightning rounds during future stars. And the man's up to 160K. So I think, especially considering there's a lot of right backs in the prem this year, some of the stuff I might consider taking the money on just in case, because if we have a bunch of SBCs coming this next week, What's, what that is going to mean for the market is a lot of coin suck and a lot of people losing their coins. And especially if they're invested in this sort of stuff, they're going to start selling it um, to try to go out and do whatever the content is and to do an SBC or to get a winter wants to watch or whatever that may be. Um, so maybe you have a, an opportunity here to still take your coins on some of those winter upgrade cards. If you don't think winter upgrades are coming this weekend, and since they didn't um, run that promo, they didn't do winter upgrades last year during uh, moments and winter OTW, then it's probably not gonna happen this year as well. It's just kind of my thinking. I guess it could if they really wanted to. That would be kind of nuts to have all three of those things happening at one time. But that's kind of, kind of my thoughts on that uh, part of the promotion this weekend as well. 
Future Stars, let's talk about this for the last little bit of the video. Future Stars set two is gonna be impacts today for rewards. A lot of you guys are probably watching this video around the rewards time. Good luck, of course, if you're opening rewards. And we'll take a peek at these prices pre-rewards. Some of these guys are down a lot headed into the rewards. Luis Felipe, 179K. Palacios, 210. There is some sell-off before rewards is what I'm seeing right now, right? Telemans, 300. Iconi, 265. I have a feeling, though, that these guys are going to go lower. But since I've seen this much panic selling, I do think there's a possibility that they pop up after rewards. So maybe you see some supply during rewards for a lot of these guys. And, you know, we've been telling people, or I've been telling you guys, that the best time to buy these is probably going to be today at rewards because of what I saw on Sunday. Some of these guys are already to their prices that they were on Sunday, right? Speaking of Danny Olmo, 88 rated center attack in mid. Sunday, he was down, he was actually down under 200K. Right now, he's 196. Some of these cars are getting really low. Tamori's about to go under 600K. Hudson Adoy is at 365. He, he barely even went under 400K Sunday night. He was 411K. He's 365 right now. Some of these future stars are dropping pretty hard. So if you want one for your squad, um, I would look at especially picking it up during rewards today with that pack supply coming out. Will these buy, will these guys be affected by winter ones to watch? They could be a little bit, but I don't think they'll be affected that much, right? Because these are still brand new cards of the game. They're still decently rare and a lot of people want to use them. I'm talking about one guy right here and I want to mention him because a lot of people have asked me about Ikone's card. 260K at the moment, 270 actually. Okay, that one on flipping was an undercut. 270,000 coins for Ikone. He was 240K on Sunday night. This guy has some room to drop yet, of course. When you're looking at some of these cards, if you want to either invest on Thursday, uh, which I probably will not be doing just because I'm broke right now on Man of the Match cards. But if you're trying to invest in these cards today, uh, look at the ones that people are asking about. Ikone is somebody that a ton of people are asking about. Palacios, people ask about. Um, Valverde is 920. Wow, that's that's low, man. It's crazy low. Luis Felipe is a good-looking card. And think about the cards that have fluctuated all week, all week right? Tielemans, honestly, is surprising me right now at 300K. Yuri Tielemans is 300,000 300, coins for this card. 305 is what uh, Footpin says. He finally got a dynamic image from where he didn't at the beginning of the promo. He's got four star skills and a five star weak foot, and he's been like 350, 360K all week. Look at this graph, man. Look at this graph of Telemans today alone 340, 350, down to 316. Today, people have been panic selling these cards tonight. 305, right? Malin, same thing. If you see Malin at 140K, I'm a fan of that. So some of these guys do are actually looking pretty investable to me, um, but you kind of just have to know the ones that are going to rise the most because of their links, right? Telemans is Premier League. He's got four-star skills, five-star weak foot, which is pretty nuts for a center mid, GGs. You can honestly play him as a cam if you wanted to. Had to throw some, some pace boost on him, but box-to-box -box center mid, beast card right there. Of course, um, the cards are just linked to a lot of people's squads. Hudson Adoy, a lot of people would be interested in him. Ikone, even Carrere. I don't even want to know how low this career is going to go during lightning rounds because some so many people have lost coins on this card already. It's almost it's almost just funny how many people have lost coins on this card. Not funny because it's not funny when people lose coins, but people value this card a lot more than what the actual rest of the market does. So this guy might be like 45k after weekend league rewards today. Um, and stuff like that, but it's just going to be interesting to watch these cards I do think they'll rise out of packs because again, they do go out of packs tomorrow at 6 p.m UK some of you guys might be asking what do I have my coins in I've been flipping some of these cards uh, With the chem styles that they've been perfect to flip and then I've got a bunch of man of the match Delhi Ali's that I bought for 55 to 60 thousand coins um, I've got a bunch of those I've got some headliner dignes uh, because I think people are going to pack a red decore need to link him to red decore and I think the um, I don't have I don't mind holding these into the weekend a little bit because of the SBC for uh, Tierney is going to be going away and then I also have some same maximums that I bought under 85,000 coins which again EA held these uh, man of the match cards they were in packs an extra day from what they said I'm still a bit salty about that because EA uh, cannot follow their own rules they set or their own guidance that they have put in the menus of this game. So these cards are in fact out of packs though. And if you look at them, there's not very many rare ones on the market or many fresh ones anymore on the market. So Inaki, Wayne Rooney, Deli Ali, 
uh, St. Maximin. All those guys are out of packs now. That is official. So again, good luck if you're opening week in League Rewards. Should be an interesting day. Will the market rise? I, st I still think the market will rise a little bit. Um, but in terms of icon stuff, I think those cards will be going down. Uh, if you're Thursday flipping, good luck. If you're looking for some last minute Thursday flips before rewards, get on the bids. Maybe for some of the other out of pack special cards that people have panic sold today uh, because of the new team of the weeks. And of course, focus on getting those out of packs in forms that you're going to be bidding on that rise after rewards. Focus on getting those with good chem styles because that is a very important piece to help you gain a little bit of extra profit on Thursday flipping. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.